Hey, hello everybody. This is Ariane Arsenault and as promised, I am back in the studio today to complete the process of making bath bomb or fizzy cupcakes. I made these on Friday through a live video, so if you would like to see the part one, it's a bit long because it's a live video and it's not edited, but um, you can see part one. But today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be piping a frosting on top of these, and this weekend, I did some research and I created a formula um, for a non-sugar or sugar-free fizzy cupcake frosting. And let me show you the result. Uh, here is one that I did and that I, that I tested this weekend. It's uh, on the lavender cupcake that we made on Friday. And I'm gonna go ahead now and make the frosting for this chocolate and marshmallow um, fizzy cupcake. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you my ingredients and I'm gonna mix it up, put it in the piping bag and pipe with you guys. <clears throat> <laughs> hey Simone and Becky, Cheeky, Clara, Karen, thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna take the tripod a little closer and switch to, okay, so I think you can see. All right, so I've made some little embeds with some um, melt and pour. These are little rosebuds or little, yeah, little flowers like this. And I'm gonna try and place them on top of my uh, frosting. Usually with the sugar frosting there's no issue. Uh, this is the first time with this. So what I've done is I've melted some cocoa butter and I've added some um, fragrance oil, the marshmallow fragrance oil to it. And now I'm... Tu peux rentrer là? Pause, c'est pas grave. I have, a, I have an employee in the shop today and she was by the door like shy to walk in, but um, <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add now some um, This is a surfactant. This is cocoa glucoside and it's gonna help the frosting bubble up um, More uh, so it's a gentle surfactant. It is paraben and phthalate free. It does not have uh, formaldehyde So this is why I'm using it one ounce is going to be added. Oops. It's no longer in ounces. There we go. And I'm also using one ounce of a sweet almond oil. Um, this is actually still warm. And... Um, yeah, so I, I, liked, I like the fact, because when it's warm, it's easier to pipe, and as it cools, it will start to harden up. Now, come closer. <laughs> All right. So right here I have uh, my KitchenAid, and into the bowl um, I have some sifted um, sodium bicarbonate and citric acid. So this will be a fizzy uh, frosting as well, as uh, it will foam and it will fizz. There's also um, potassium bitartrate, or a cream of tartar. There's kale and clay, there's SLSA, and there... And that's it. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down and I'm just going to stir it a little so that everything is well combined. And this is a little dusty, so I'm just going to put um, this over it and I'm going to wear my dust mask because SLSA kind of makes people cough when it's up in the air. All right. I've also prepared my uh, piping bag and my piping tip. You can see the piping tip is a round piping tip. It's about in the bottom of the pitcher. So this helps to hold everything nice and neat. Okay. SLSA is so volatile. It just like, it, it poops up <coughs> in the air as soon as you make it move. All right. So now I'm just going to put this on top again and slowly add 
my mixture while turning. Okay, I want you guys to see a little, but I don't want SLSA everywhere. I start slowly, and then as the mixture starts to get moist, I can whip faster because the SLSA won't be puffing up in the air anymore. Okay, so I can uh, remove my mask now as this moisture is no longer uh, very um, airy. <laughs> I'll take you guys a little closer so you can see what's going on in there. It kind of looks like uh, buttercream. No. Whenever I make anything that needs to be whipped, I like to scrape down the bowls, uh, the bowl, so that everything gets incorporated evenly. Now, I can feel that this mixture is still a little hot, and if it's too hot, it's not going to hold its shape as well. So I'm going to keep stirring it and wait until it cools down a little to put it into the piping bag. Okay. Let's move away from the noisy background and if you have um, any questions while this is whipping up, it would be a good timing to ask me those. Ask me those questions. Um, and then I will show you also uh, the reaction when a fizzy cupcake hits the water, all right? I am pouring some uh, water into the sink of my uh, soap kitchen <laughs> and I will plop a cupcake for you guys in there. What kind of oils did you use? I'm using um, cocoa butter and uh, sweet almond oil. The cocoa butter is really dark in color, it's very yellow, so if you want to make a frosting that is whiter in color, you would probably need to, to buy bleached cocoa butter, but I personally prefer to use the natural. Have you had your frosting uh, says on you? I did have to scoop it out. Um, this is the second time that I'm making this recipe, so it hasn't seized on me yet. I would assume that you could reheat it and it would be workable again. And then it, uh, Lalina says, have you ever made soap clay? If so, can you do a tutorial? Uh, yes, I do add clays in my soap once in a while and I do have a video that was released uh, just before Christmas on using Brazilian clay in soap and any clay soap can be made using the same technique. How long do you wait before you ice the cupcakes? I made those on Friday and I will ice them today. Usually I would ice them on the day after I've made them but you can wait two or three days it doesn't really make a difference. There's already soap in my sink and it's all foaming up. I'll just start over. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to check um, on the mixture and see how it's coming along.
it seems to be holding its shape. So let's go back over there. Okay. The pathway is very narrow in my workshop and I have to like kink the legs of my tripod to move it around. Um, okay. I was hoping to make the noise all at once, you know, pour the water into the sink and whip this thing in the same time, but um, the water was, uh, there was a uh, dish soap left in there. Oh, Amber says, she answered my question, I feel like a little girl watching a boy band. Well, <laughs> it's a one woman show here today. <laughs> Okay, um, watching from England, Jenny Bush says, with my little baby boy Noah, oh my gosh, this is so funny. When I was pregnant with my three kids, well, not triplets, but obviously I had one, one after the other, uh, but every time I had a new baby born in my house, I watched so many YouTube videos on soap making and cosmetics, and uh, that is how I gained a lot of knowledge. So if you have lots of baby time, uh, you can totally watch YouTube videos, and they are super helpful. <laughs> While you have your arms uh, busy with a baby, you can still watch videos. Okay. I'm going to place the mixture into my piping bag that is right here. <clears throat> or maybe it's still a little hot. I'm going to whip it just a little more and keep pouring water in the sink. <laughs> Jenny says, thank you for your reply. <laughs> he even recognizes your voice. That can happen. My girls love watching Katie from Royalty Soaps. <laughs> They're always saying when I watch soap making videos, oh, mom, is that Katie? <laughs> Do you ever have difficulty covering the natural scent of butter with fragrances? Sometimes I find the recommended usage rates is sufficient. Ah, it always depends. You know, it depends on, um, wait, it depends on the product you're using. Personally, I don't mind shea butter. Uh, it's, it's something that people sometimes don't like the scent of shea butter. I don't mind. And like today I'm using cocoa butter, which smells like chocolate. I'm making a chocolate fizzy cupcake. So I'm kind of playing around this theme. It doesn't matter if there's a, a chocolate scent. <laughs> so, uh, Olivier Landy says, Comment avance le nouvel atelier? He's asking, how is the new workshop coming along? Well, I have... Uh, the footing and the foundation of, uh, of it built, but it needs to dry for another two weeks before they can start uh, actually building everything else. So I will keep you posted on the building of my workshop, but right now I'm just kind of in a waiting, waiting period because all this cement needs to dry out. Okay, water in the sink and... Oh, and by the way, whoever you are who posted a job offer in my live video, um, those live comments go away after the video, so there's no point. <laughs> All right. No spammers on my channels. I will need a moderator. If any of you guys here watching live are interested to being a moderator uh, for my chats, send me a message after this video and... Um, I will uh, consider your offers. If you, it, it's like just when you're a moderator, when the chat is actually going, you can actually just delete the messages that aren't meant to be there. So, because obviously my hands are busy when I do a live videos, and I cannot do that myself. So, if someone wants to be a moderator, I would be glad. I can actually even have more than one. <laughs> all right, let's all stay nice. All right, let's make. <laughs> Frosting. There we go. Une question pour moi? Je veux juste que tu donnes un coup de brasse dans mon savon qui est sur le point. J'ai vraiment baissé le feu du feu. Good. Bon. I just have to stir some melted butter, and I'll be right back. My employee's working on making um, melt and pour soaps today, so I had to stir because she can't walk over this tripod that I have right in her way. But I will move the tripod now and uh, hopefully give you guys a good angle and maybe she can actually work now. <laughs> so let's go down here. And 
plays this, baby. Like so. Okay. I think this is good. Um, you guys, uh, the phone is into a position right now that I cannot really see the screen and see your comments. So if you have any questions that you want to be answered uh, later on, please post your questions after the video is published. So then I will be able to go back, read your comment, and answer them. So just as when I do soapy cupcakes, I start with a dollop in the center. Now this is a mixture that contains baking soda and citric acid and it's actually a little grainy but it's it's just a, an aesthetic issue it's not completely um, like it's not as smooth as soap or as the sugar uh, icing that I make on my regular line of cupcakes but I'm trying this one out this time because I've had so many requests from people uh, that cannot use the sugar in the bath. So centering every cupcake and then I'm just gonna go around like this and add a little flour. I don't know how long I have until it's too set that I can add the flour, but I'll try to do a couple at a time. And because there's um, sodium bicarbonate and citric acid, this mixture can expand a little after it's been piped. So I make them smaller as they sometimes start to grow or you they look like they're trying to run away. Like you can see this one I made yesterday, <laughs> kind of sideways, but it's okay. It'll still fizz really nice. So here are the little rosebuds that are made out of melt and pour that I'm simply gonna place right here on top of each cupcake. All right, let's keep piping. And um, when doing this technique, and I've, I've seen other recipes online that are similar to mine, um, I will link uh, below to another video um, that I saw on, on Jen's channel. Um, and I got inspired by, by her recipe. Uh, I don't know if she's the original creator, I will need to do a little bit of research, but this formula is different. It's similar, but it's, I tweaked, I added some ingredients, I modified some quantities because I wanted to make it different. <laughs> I always like to make my recipes different. Okay. And then after I'm done piping all of these little cupcakes. I will add some biodegradable glitter to make them all nice and shiny. And I think that my next batch will have to be just a little bit bigger. I may, I may run out of icing. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have enough. You guys can still see. Okay. And then stay until the end because I'm gonna put one of the cupcakes into the water and test the reaction of um, the, the frosting and of the cupcake. Oh, well, or not the cupcake, but the base. Put some little flowers on here and hope that they will stick. <laughs> I 
And these little flowers are made with um, clear melt and pour and cocoa powder. That's it. That's it. Where's my spatula? Okay. I feel that I have some wasted um, frosting on the sides of my piping bag, so I'm going to push everything down. And the mixture is already starting to cool. So I'm going to try and hurry up, but if I push too fast, then it cracks. So there's no hurrying the frosting, <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Oh, and um, this formula is really workable. You can actually like kind of like Play-Doh kind of push it back in place if it's not sticking well or behaving like you want it to. Okay, I'm sorry, you probably can't see this one because it's really right there in the corner. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I think these are gonna have a little less frosting because I don't want to have a cupcake without frosting. Well, the little one at the end will be for my family's use. We will use them with, a great, with great joy. I'm sure the kids will be excited to have uh, a little cupcake, even though it's not perfect, <laughs> to put in their bathtub next time. So this is the one that will be for us. That is what we do with our odd ends and pieces here in the soap shop. We use them ourselves. There we go. And put this back together. And a little flower for the kids. Oh, I forgot these two here. Okay, and <clears throat> I have my super biodegradable glitter and the spray bottle that I got. And I'm just gonna shoot some glitter onto the cupcakes. And voila. Now these, uh, the lavender ones, were made yesterday and I have this one which was the least uh, perfect of the bunch and I will put it into some water for you guys to see how it reacts. <clears throat> now when you use a fizzy cupcake you can put the whole thing in the water, but I would recommend to break the top off. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be speaking closer to the phone so you guys can actually hear what I'm saying because the water's running, but I would actually break the top off and start by adding the base of the cupcake in the water and let it fizz and spin around and just remove it from the wrapper. It comes off pretty easily, like this. And we will pop it in the water and see the nice fizzy reaction. And these contain um, uh, latinol powder, so it's SLSA. So they will foam as well as fizz. So here. Woohoo! <laughs> nice bubbles. Um, I've seen many videos where the bath bomb or the cupcakes or the fizzy thing are loaded with colorants and they turn the water and the is colorful and it looks like rainbows. Um, I don't put so much colorants in mine because I'm afraid it's going to stain the bathtub but I, and I'm not sure my colorants um, are to be used in such big quantities but I know uh, I just ordered some new colorants uh, from Nurture Soap Supplies and I'm hoping that I can put more intensity in my bath bombs and create those cool reactions that we see online all the time. All right, so now that we've seen the reaction, oh, and it smells amazing, it's lavender. I'm gonna be all relaxed now. <laughs> so now I will be showing you uh, the frosting. So um, I'm gonna run the water and put it in so that it can actually create some foam as well. It's better to let it melt under hot running water, so then it gets a chance to uh, make some bubbles. It's like it's actually like a solid bubble bath 
topping. Well, there you go. So it's a cupcake that creates fizz and bubbles and foam and scent and color, a little color. The water is a little purple, but not the foam. The foam is white. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's come back here. I am back. Oh, did it go offline? I'm sorry. My internet connection is the worst in all Canada, I think. Well, maybe not all Canada, but <laughs> it is not the best. But when I publish the video back, it will be okay. Um, that's it. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching the frosting part of these cupcakes. I will go ahead now and make the frosting for my sweet kiss and for my... What's the other one? Which one? Oh, Fizzy Lemonade. And I will post pictures later on um, my Facebook page and on my Instagram and everywhere on social media. Uh, before I let you go, you can hit the thumbs up button and um, leave me a little comment after I'm done. And I'm sorry for the awful, awful internet connection. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye.